In your opinion, where are these people going? To a masked ball? No, they're going to work in a hospital. No one likes to go there, but sometimes it's necessary if you want treatments. Fortunately, the nurses are kind, and the doctors win your trust. Sometimes treatment can be given on the scene of the accident. This boy will wear a bandage to protect his knee. He might have to go to the radiologist. Or he could simply consult Superman, the man with X-ray vision. This man has to wear a knee brace to play tennis. A bandage supports the joint to help it heal. If the pain continues, consult a doctor who'll give you a prescription or perhaps an injection to ease the pain straight away. Cross your fingers that the syringe won't be as big as this one. In winter, we often catch colds and have headaches. After having taken your temperature, the general practitioner prescribes you pills or syrups. From time to time, you must have a medical checkup, have your blood pressure taken, have a blood test, and check the general state of your health. If you smoke a lot, or if you drink too much, do some sport to stay in shape. Whether you've got toothache or not, don't forget to go to the dentist. He'll give you a filling if you've got tooth decay. Is everything blurred? Go to the eye specialist. And if you need corrective lenses, choose a pair of glasses at the opticians. Since its beginnings, medicine has made lots of progress. Today, there are still certain traditional methods of treatment, like acupuncture, or the virtues of medicinal plants. But there are situations where you have to act quickly and resort to modern techniques. For instance, a car accident can turn out to be serious, and the emergency services have to be called out. The ambulance men bring help and give first aid. They use flashing lights and sirens to get across town very quickly. Once at the accident and emergency department, everything is a question of time. The injured person must be taken inside quickly, so that the doctors can make a diagnosis before intervening. If they decide to operate, the patient must be anesthetized, and hands carefully washed to get rid of all bacteria. Above all, the operating room must be fumigated to prevent any infections. After the operation, all the medical gloves are thrown away and the gowns are cleaned. The patient only has to wait, recuperate, and above all try and eat the hospital food. The huge syringe is nothing compared to this last torture. Rest assured, everything's fine. Don't forget to thank your friends for the flowers and the fruit they've brought. During a stay in hospital, your family is always with you. What joy to go home when you're better. All the more since the lady of the house is an excellent cook.